Well, we're excited, certainly, about the win. Um, I know it's cliche to say that we survived in advance, but if there was ever more a time to talk about surviving, uh, we survived and uh, found a way uh, right there at the end to get to the finish line, and I'm proud of them. Um, I really wanted uh, to continue to coach this team. Um, I really wanted to have an opportunity to stay with the senior class as long as possible and to keep practicing and, and challenging our freshmen to get better and put them in this environment because I hope that in the future that we have this opportunity throughout their career to be in postseason play. So um, it wasn't the prettiest game, but uh, for what we're trying to build and what we're trying to do, it was an important win um, and uh, very excited about that as this program continues to grow. Um, in terms of the game, um, not unlike what we thought we would have. Um, they're a really good defensive team. They keep people uh, low scoring and at times um, they really make you work. Uh, but with that said, I thought we were in good position at halftime and tried to pump our team up. We were one for nine from the arc. We were one for three at the foul line and we missed 13 shots in the paint and we still had the lead. Um, we played not a perfect game defensively. We certainly made some mistakes, but it was magnified because we couldn't score. And if we could have scored, probably we wouldn't even ever be talking about any mistakes defensively. But uh, we just really, really struggled. A little rusty, two weeks off, and just frankly missed some shots that we are capable of making. So um, really, really excited to play again. and. Uh, we have been awarded the second round home game. Um, those, those final um, ten-ish seconds, have you ever seen a sequence like that? And, and how big was Alexis's strip there? To, to, to end? Yes, and uh, it was deja vu for me because in, in my last tournament appearance in the WNIT, um, we had the lead. Um, at the foul line, and the other team took the ball the length of the floor with five seconds and beat us at the buzzer. And so I was deja vu in my last postseason experience. And fortunately, um, we made Luffman really um, have to work to try to get the ball up the floor, and she lost the handle, and, and we were able to get there, get to the finish line. She's been shooting the ball tremendous in practice recently. Um, you know, she's that stretch four that we like to play with. We have confidence to run plays for her um, on the perimeter. And uh, she's a better penetrator than you, than you give her credit for. And she had a big penetration basket, too, in the second half. So um, offense was hard to come by. So when anyone made a shot, it was, uh, it was a big deal. And, uh, and, uh, and we rode her for more minutes in the second half and didn't go back with Tabitha late. Uh, because Lindsay's ability to make a shot. Um, Belmont went small, put a lot of pressure on Lindsay guarding Luffman, who's the best player on the floor. Um, and uh, it was a tough matchup down the stretch there for Lindsay, but uh, she tried to battle with her. Coach Taylor played all 40 minutes tonight. How big was she? Huge, and she's really under the weather with the flu the last 48 hours, and I, I just didn't want to take her out. Uh, because then that's when your head starts pounding and you start to really realize you're really sick. So, uh, you know, probably uh, people think I'm crazy playing a kid 40 minutes that is really, really under the weather, but I didn't want her to come and sit and think about how sick she was. And um, she was chasing around their wings that do a lot of running. And, uh, and I thought that was important um, for her to be out there and give us that defensive presence. Well, it's huge to be able to get keep playing. I can't thank the crowd enough. The crowd was amazing. Um, we, don't, we don't earn the second round home game uh, without a great crowd. And, uh, you know, with spring break, no college students, professors, all those people out of town, 
Uh, still really pleased with the turnout for our crowd, and and it's all part of the growth uh, of this program and and putting them in in that environment. So a, a huge win, a huge win to be able to get to the second round. Um, you know, we're six and zero now against non-conference opponents that are in postseason, and uh, you know we're we're not quite where we want to be in the Big Ten, but we are now stepping up and winning a lot of non-conference games and winning conf against non-conference teams that are in postseason play. You know, great confidence in them. Um, I, you know, was, you're just a little helpless in nights like tonight where you don't feel like you push any right button. You take out Simone because you want a better foul shooter in, and Nicole misses the foul shooter, foul shot, and you put her in to foul shoot. Um, you know, we, we stayed big when they went small because we wanted to pound it inside, and then you miss a layup. And so that chess match tonight, I never felt like I won against Coach Neubauer. I thought he got coached me. And our players survived and, and bailed me out that way. But uh, ultimate confidence in young kids. Um, they got us to this point. Uh, they got us in postseason with the success. And uh, we're going to ride them even through nights where they don't have great offensive nights. Do we have a result? So can I say something? With Marquette winning in the matchup, we will host Saturday night at 7 p.m. We look forward to playing a Big East team. We are currently 2-0 against the Big East on the season. Have great respect for the Marquette team. They're huge. They're very talented. Um, and one of the year in and year out uh, class programs in the Big East. Um, and uh, it will be a great challenge for us on a quick turnaround.